here we have a push pull motor driver. It consists of an NPN transistor and a PNP. Both the bases are connected together and the input voltage comes along and it's shared between the two. The motor is connected to zero. At the moment, there's zero volts at the base and the motor is stationary. If we switch on the PNP transistor by giving it not that's not 0.7 volts, we can see in this circuit the motor turns clockwise. So the transistor here is switched on. So that let means current can flow from the plus nine down through this transistor, the NPN one, through the motor. You can see the current going from left to right and to zero volts. Okay, that's when we switch it high. Now if we pull the voltage down to minus 0.7 volts, now we've switched on the PNP transistor. Now the current flows from the zero along this through the motor, now from right to left and down through to minus nine. So the current is flowing from a higher voltage, which is zero, to a lower one, minus nine. If when the NPN was on, it flowed from the higher voltage, nine, to the lower one, zero. When you're drawing the circuit with the transistors, the easy way to remember how the arrows go is the NPN one goes on the top with the arrow pointing down, and then on the PNP one, the arrow is next to the, these two arrows. These two wee arrows are close by each other, okay, and the two bases get connected together. Okay. So if it's plus 0.7, the motor turns clockwise. If it's minus 0.7, the motor turns anti-clockwise in, in this circuit. That's a push-pull motor driver. The input here can be generated from op amps or other circuits. This is just using the 0.7 and the minus 0.7 to show the voltages. Push-pull motor driver.